Johnny D here and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we'll be testing the cheapest current generation graphics card on the market today that has over 8 gigabytes of VRAM. Here we have the Intel Arc B570 ASRock Edition that comes with 10 gigabytes of DDR6 RAM and comes in at a price point of $209 both on Newegg and Amazon. Now at this price point, it makes it a very interesting card for an option for budget gaming. In today's video, we'll be pairing this graphics card with a system that I think you would actually use this card with and testing it in some popular games. For the test system, we have a Ryzen 5 7500F with 32GB of DDR5 RAM, 750 watt power supply all housed in this beautiful NZXT H3 Flow case. I'll leave the specific details on the test system in the description below. Now for the first game we have is Where Winds Meet, which is currently the ninth most played game on Steam. So let's get into it. Where the Winds Meet. All right, so we are at 1440p. We have XCSS Enable, Ultra Quality, and for the graphic preset, we have Ultra. So let's see where we are. Now here we are, we're outside the town, and currently we're getting an average of 76 FPS and a 1% low of 67. The CPU is at 31%, pulling 50 watts, and the B570 is at 59 degrees at 100%. So as we make our way through the town, we can see that the frame rate dropped. We're around 70 FPS uh, frame average, 1% low is down to 55, but the game does look good. I'm starting to like the art style. The more and more I play a game, the more and more I like it. So as we make our way through the crowd, we are at 67 FPS with an average of 68, 1% lows are around 55. The frame time graph looks all right, a little spiky, but that's to be expected at this higher resolution. Yeah, looking really good. So what I'm thinking, let's see what we get when we drop this down to quality settings. All right, so we're gonna drop this down to quality XES, and we're gonna drop this to graphics quality quality. And we're back outside the town again, and we're getting about 100 frames per second with a 1% low of 85. So yeah, we did gain some FPS. Doesn't look like we lost any visuals. The game still looks pretty good, very colorful. And we'll make our way through the town again and see what happens. And yeah, as we cross the bridge, our frame rate's down to about 85 with an average of 93, 1% low of 67. Frame time graph is a little spiky. And let's see, the GPU's at 98% utilization, 99. CPU's pulling about 50%, 61 watts. And the game looks good. Not too bad. So what do we wind up with here? So at 1080p quality, XES set the quality. We had 108 frames per second with a 1% low of 68. 1440p quality, XES set the quality. We had an average of 93 frames per second with a 1% low of 71. And at 1440p ultra, XESS set the ultra quality. We had an average of 69 frames per second with a 1% low of 55. Moving on. All right, next up we have CS2. This is the number one most popular game played on Steam. We're at 1440p low settings. And we're starting off with an FPS of about 300 frames per second average. 1% uh, low, 156. GPU power, 59. So we're not getting total utilization on the GPU. We're at about 70% utilization on the ARC. And for the CPU, we're at 36%, 58 watts. So yeah, well, that's about right. So anyway, let's go into the details. So at 1080p low, we got an FPS of 387 with a 1% low of 207. At 1080p medium settings, we got an average FPS of 312 with a 1% low of 196. At 1440p low, we got an average FPS of 310 with a 1% low of 200. All right, next up we have Forza Horizon 5, and I think I'll spare you the gameplay and we'll just move right into the benchmarks. 
All right, so at 1080p high, MSAA by 2, we got an average of 160 frames per second with a 1% low of 128. 1440p high, we got an average of 130 FPS with a 1% low of 110. And at 4K, actually, yeah, some of these games you can play at 4K, we got a high of 87 with a 1% low of 76. So, yeah, not a bad showing for the arc in this particular game. Moving on, we have Rainbow Six Siege. This is the can benchmark. And what did we get? We got a 1080p low preset. We got an average of 373 frames per second with a 1% low of 298. A 1440p low preset. We got an average FPS of 268 frames per second with a 1% low of 226. So, yeah, not bad. Plenty of FPS here for Rainbow Six Siege. All right, so next up we got Horizon Forbidden West. A very beautiful game. All right, so what do we get? So at 1080p high, XCSS set the quality. We got an average FPS of 124 frames per second with a 1% low of 96. At 1440p high, XCSS set the quality. We got an average of... 94 frames per second with a 1% low of 81. So pretty good showing here. It did a nice job. Next up, we have our favorite Cyberpunk 2077. So at 1080p high preset, we got an FPS of 124 with a 1% low of 96. At 1440p high preset, we got an average FPS of 94 with a 1% low of 81. Yeah, I mean, the R cards do well on Cyberpunk. There's no doubt about it. So moving on. Next up, we have Marvel Rivals. So in Marvel Rivals, at 1080p medium, XDSS set the quality. We got an average FPS of 161 with a 1% low of 125. At 1440p medium, XDSS set the quality. We got an average FPS of 118 with a 1% low of 95. So, yeah, ARC has come a long way. I think they've done a great job with their drivers. I mean, for, you know, $209, uh, you can play just about any game at 1080p. So I think it's time to move on to the conclusion. Now for the conclusion. At the time of this video, December 6, 2025, the ARC B570 is currently the cheapest current generation card available with maybe the NVIDIA RTX 5050 coming in a close second. Now for the price point, the card performed well, played every game we threw at it, and I really have no complaints about the card's performance. After it all, it is a budget-friendly entry-level card. What I would like to see from Intel is an improvement in their software suite. And what I mean is screen capture software would be a nice addition. So tell me what you think. Would you buy the ARC B570 or opt to purchase the RTX 5050 for a little more money? Or maybe go used. Let me know in the comments below. My name is Johnny, and if you get value out of this video, give it a like or maybe subscribe if you haven't already. Or better yet, stick around for the next video. With that said, you'll have a great day, and thanks for watching. Bye now.